This is true. Those are things that actually happen to you. It's insane. Okay, we'll beat this crow. Dude, make your call. You gotta do it. Oh, finally. At least now we're starting to, like, one-hit some of these things. You know what I mean? Let's see what we got. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, 100%, 100%, the combat in this game is insane. It's not easy. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna rest. I think that gives us our, our magic back too, so that should be all that we need. Or a PP, as it's called. I think it's psychic power. Yeah, we've got it all back. Okay, and our health. Sick, 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 sick. Okay. So I just gotta go back. We just gotta level up one more time or so, or get enough money to get the uh, bracelet. Because those guys hit like a truck, and they're really hard to run away from. Quick G? Wait, what? Do I have a G? Quick what? You won! I did it! Oh. So it's just- it's- it's wild. Q. Oh! Oh, that is a Q. Why are you doing this to me? You, you're making me blush! I'm not that handsome. Come on now. Y'all got me turning red over here. Stop. Y'all killing me. I wish I was half as handsome as you guys. I know how much you hike. I've seen how much you hike. You're so much hotter than I am. Alright, I think we're close to leveling up. <laughs> I could too. <laughs> I was like, ugh. I felt so demeaned. It's like when your dad's disappointed in you, or like, I don't know. Your fifth grade teacher tells you that you're too stupid to go to middle school. Not that I know what that's like. I didn't get held back for the record. I just want to want to set that straight real quick. That 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 was a joke. I didn't it didn't happen. Not that there's anything bad about it. Anyway, how are you guys enjoying Earthbound so far? <laughs> Welcome back, dude. All right, we're gonna. We're gonna take him this time.
We need to fight more birds. It's wild. It's crazy. But we got this. We got this. The From what I remember and from what other people have told me, the level jump for what you have to do here at the beginning is the most drastic by far. Because you're really just winging it. They're cracked, dude. They're cracked like you wouldn't believe. It's insane. They really just let you go for it and they're like, I don't know. Don't die. Also figure it out, I guess. You know what I mean? Don't mind me, I like to follow the trails. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. So we can take him. I think we could have taken him if we hadn't gotten double ganged up on. Because sometimes when enemies are close enough, one of them will get like dragged in. So you're fighting multiple. Okay, there we go. I knew another one wasn't coming, so I want to see if we can take one by itself. I think the S-Man Jr. is one of the weakest. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so we just gotta keep doing that a few more times. Like, lure him out a little bit. Lure. Lure. We'll just take him, because we know that he just wants to fight anyway, so why not, yeah. Time to kick his- oh. Oh, this is our time. This is our time. Maybe. Maybe not. Yikes. That wasn't- <laughs> that was really close. Okay, I'm gonna run away real quick. Lord, okay. Heal up. Perfect. Now we take the next one. Do you want to be Frank? You want Frank to beat you up, do you? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> See, I think that was our problem. We were just getting ganged up on by too many of them. There we go. See, now we're steamrolling. Officer by one, Vitality one by one, IQ one by one, maximum HP one by 13. That's not bad. Frank is the leader of the Sharks. Actually, that's Frank right there inside the Sharks hideout behind the video game store by the behind the arcade. Frank is a douche. I have been activated. Now I'm cracked, dude. I'm telling you. I want to check something, because I think I have to fight the police commissioner for something. Maybe not. Maybe that's after Frank. We'll find out. Okay. <laughs> it's all a little dialogue. Okay, yeah, so I think we got to take care of Frank before... We talk to the police, because we have to get the police's permission to leave. Or it might even be after, like, the whole... Frank is like a mini-boss of this area. There's a main boss, I believe. Dang it! Did he not get there in time? Oh, good. Sometimes they don't get there in time. But they can still call for help. <laughs> it's ridiculous! But no, I think now that we're level up and we're kind of picking them off one by one, we're, we're doing pretty good. There we go. Alright, I'm curious if we have enough money for that bracelet, because the bracelet can do a lot of help for our, like, defense and everything. Don't even try talking. Oh my god. If Pokemon worked like this, where they just gang up on you like that? No, I don't. I don't want that. I already struggle with Nuzlocke enough as it is. <laughs> if they add that in, which they kind of did in Sun and Moon, I think. Okay. 
Sorry, now that we're done going over all the new things, that brings up other questions. So how did everyone feel about the Nintendo Direct, and how did everyone feel about um, some of the new Pokemon stuff that's come out? I want to know all of your opinions. Give it a shot. I want to see if we all share the same opinions. Or not. Because <laughs> that's... That's make or break, I think. Alright, how much is it? Cheap bracelet. 98, okay. Check the ATM. Oh, we've got this. Perfect. Cheap bracelet. Do you want to like equip it here? Mm -hmm. Change nine to fourteen. That's huge. That is huge. Okay. I think we're good to go try taking on more of the sharks. Perfect. Let's take a look and see how how well this goes, or how hard they hit us at the very least. Does that count as up? Wow, that was really lucky. I missed both. That's awful. Yeah, that defense change is massive. Nintendo Direct? So every once in a while, Nintendo does, like, live presentations, like trailers for new games or big announcements, things like that. Um, it's freaking awesome. And they just dropped so much stuff the other day in like a 45, 50 minute video. It was, it was insane, but they showed the first minute and a half trailer and announced the release date for Breath of the Wild 2, which is being dubbed Tears of the Kingdom. Tears of a Kingdom or Tears of the Kingdom? One of those. And it looks insane. It looks so good. I am... No, I want the hamburger. Get rid of a cookie. Yeah, we definitely don't need a cookie. Yeah, throw it away. Perfect. Mm hmm And Goldeneye coming to the Nintendo 64 emulator? Listen. It's... it's a big deal. It's a huge deal. Get a Switch for Christmas, dude. It is so worth it. It's so worth it, dude. I love my Switch. I use it all the time. Now, that being said, I do also just play a lot of, uh... Pokemon Unite. Did get it on Spanky? Is that what he called me? Oh, no. That's fine. We should be okay. I, I am curious how much damage the Skate Punk is gonna do now. It's like half. Fantastic. Good. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Okay, one more time. Perfect. Are you gonna ask for like a special switch or are you gonna ask for a switch OLED or like a design switch? Because there's so many different kinds. Just out of curiosity. Oh yes, please. You have to watch it, dude. It is so good. Do you want to become better? No. Don't be such an idiot. Okay, there we go. He said, come back when you finish Earthbound. That's hilarious. That's what I deserve. That's what I deserve. I got cocky. It's okay. We'll go back. We're fine. We've got all of our equipment. I just got cocky. What should you get? It depends, I guess. Do you want, like, a nicer Switch, like the OLED, which is, like, better graphics and a bigger screen on the handheld? It is very nice. I almost upgraded my Switch to it. Still actively think about it sometimes, because I play my Switch so often. You know what I mean? But it's so good. It is so good.
Actually, we're gonna go ahead and do a quick save and as well see as... Alright, we're 37 experience away? From the next level? Perfect, that might be enough to take down Frank. I think I think that we can actually take down Frank right now. At this point, it is, it is absolutely worth the money, I think. Especially when we start streaming other Switch games and like when Breath of the Wild 2 comes out or Tears of the Kingdom, my bad. We'll certainly play that on stream. Yeah, so it's when I say multiple versions, I mean like just like different designs on it, colors. The only real difference is there's this the Switch Lite, which doesn't dock into a TV, so it's just handheld, the Switch Normal, and then the Switch OLED, which is just a bigger screen and better graphics. But then you have a lot of like different colors. Like I have an Animal Crossing themed Switch. It's pretty sweet, but not important, you know what I mean? Alright, Frank is in there, no sharks, okay. Dude, love you too. Have a great night. I'm glad you made it, man. Um, glad this new schedule worked out for you. I really am. It makes me very happy, so... Dude, enjoy your night. Sleep well, man. Love you. Thanks for stopping by. Glad you're here, dude. Bye-bye. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. 13 experience. Should we just go fight one more person out here just to... See if we can get the level up before we fight Frank. I feel like it's not a bad idea. Well, actually, it looks like there's no more shark gang members. Never mind, here we go. We'll take a few out. Get that next level before we fight Frank. Stop shredding so hard, dude. He's too powerful. It's crazy. Hot dog. I'm so glad he stopped in. I love that guy. I, I want to see if there's at least one other person we can fight. I know they don't fight. Hmm. I'll go back out one more time and see if it spawns someone. So I think two more people and that gets us to the threshold that we need to be at. Perfect. There's two people out here. And they're coming at the same time. Perfect. Perfect. That's called Divine Providence. There we go. And we're not taking too much damage. Alright, this gets us to the next level. We'll just go heal at the hospital real quick, or the hotel. Just get rested up. Yes, we'll get rid of the cookie. We don't need the cookies, we need the hamburgers. Just because the health difference is drastic. Perfect. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and we'll go heal at the hotel, rest up, and then we'll go fight Frank. Oh, but anyway, dudes. Uh, yeah, well... Thirty-five bucks? I don't want to go all the way back to the house, I'm lazy. That's fine, we've got enough cash. Oh my. It's like Pokemon where I just spam hitting A all the time. Perfect. Yeah, we'll rest up at the hotel real quick. This might be one of my favorite songs here. Not the hotel song, the or the room song, the hotel song, like the grooviness. That's not as groovy as it was before. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. Anyway, if you guys are new here, welcome. My name is John. This is the channel Brightside Adventures. We look on the bright side of life and we enjoy going on adventures together. Uh, if you're having fun, feel free to drop a follow here on YouTube. We appreciate you being here. Never feel like you have to chat or anything. I always wanna make sure people know that. They don't ever have to chat. It's fun, but you don't have to. But I'm just glad you're here. Welcome. Thanks for stopping by. 
Let's kick Frank's butt. He's got knives. They really are. They really are. Frank's gone! Frank is gone! There we go. That was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. I thought he was gonna fail proof Frank can't be beaten. Puff, puff, puff. And this is Frankie Stein Mark II. Help. Let's hit it. That was a lot of damage. Okay, I think he does generate a burst of steam before he hits, so we'll take him down first. Also, a trick I've learned. When your health is going up, don't stop it. Because... Or don't move on to the next thing, because it'll just mess around and there's been times where like i've healed but as i was healing i've been damaged and it just stops the counter it does a weird thing where it just makes you lose like it it'll go up part way and then back down it's crazy that was a huge hit i'm going to basically heal every other turn now i think it is frankie stein look at it look at it so that wasn't bad damage I can get one more in. Yeah. We got that crit! See, we lose to a few shark gang members, but what is a few shark gang members to my bat? Failproof Frank is now just failure Frank. I know you've been asking around, so I'll tell you about Giant Step. It seems to be quite a powerful spot, some kind of special power is stored there. Found certain people to perform wondrous feats. However, a monster sucked up all the energy at that spot. It's difficult to get a giant step. That's all I know. So, to, so just to collect more on your own. The entrance to the path leading to giant step is behind the touring entertainer's shack. Perkle, the mayor of Onet, has a key to the shack. Being you've become stronger than I, your adventure is just beginning. Yo. We kicked his butt. What the? Alright, so now... We have to go up to the Entertainer's Shack. Or do I need to go talk to the mayor first? I did not do that. No, it's behind the Entertainer's Shack, so we will go... Don't question a good thing if we have it. It's Mayor Perkle of Onet. Don't question the good things. It's perfect. Alright, we're gonna... We're gonna drop another 35 to just rest at the hotel and get all of our stuff back. Before going into that cave. Perfect. I suppose I've just gone all the way to the house. I don't know. That's fine. It's fine. Here we go. We're doing fine on our own. All right. So he said by the entertainer shack, and I believe we saw the entertainer shack, which was the clowns up here, just north of town. Yeah, that has to be it. There's the mole guy. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. We gotta go talk to the mayor first. He has the key. That's what he said. I got distracted. My bad. So we will go talk to the mayor and get the key. I think that's when he makes you fight all the police or something. We'll find out. It's been so long since I've played this game. But it's so worth it. 
This truly is one of my favorite games of all time. Hands down. I love how funny it is. I love the combat. It actually gets really intense. The combat gets like really complicated and there's a lot to keep track of, which is so much fun. Oh, absolutely there was a five-year-old part of the creative team. Are you kidding? <laughs> of course. There always has to be. That's half the fun. <laughs> Alright, I think the mayor is up here now. Let's see. I thought... The mayor's office. Where is the mayor's office? Dun dun. He's not the mayor. Okay. Or we gotta find town hall. Town hall, that's gotta be what it is. Mayors are always in town halls, right? I feel like empirically that is that is what I have seen in my life. Hotel, I think town hall's up here. City hall, yeah. Is this it? Or is that the library? Library, whoops. It's just a big building, it makes you think, you know? See, I'm a little... I'm a little confused. Hotel. Might be next to the hospital now that I think about it. Oh, or it's this giant Roman Colosseum based building. Look at like the DC library. Nah, there's not really maps. I think there might be later, but I definitely don't have one now. So to beat up the shark song, Mayor Perkle is waiting for you. It's so good. It's so funny. All right. There he is, Mayor Perkle. Hey, 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 I'm Mayor B.H. Perkle. It's so nice to meet you. I beat up the town bullies, punched them out big time, kicked their butts, bit their heads off, spit in their eyes, and made them wet their pants. You forced them to promise not to make any more trouble. Thank you. What, you want a key to the Tour Entertainer Shack? If someone's great as you give me the key, you could keep the town peaceful. However, if you encounter a dangerous situation, please don't ask me to take any responsibility. I'll be able to avoid any responsibility, right? Yes. You're such a smart kid. Here's the key to the shack. I love sketchy deals with creepy adults. Bean's got the key to the shack. Oh yeah, dude. There we go. Uh, you know, no, I think my sense of humor has always been very similar to this. Because I played this... Sophomore year on the Wii U of college, sophomore year of college, when Chimney and I were in a dorm together. Our second time being in the dorm together. And when I started playing it, I was just dying. Because it is it is truly that funny to me. I'm gonna see if they got any new items at the shop real quick, like any new weapons or anything. Because I wasn't sure if beating Frankie like unlocked anything like that. So good. The vibes were immaculate. I do not think Tim was enjoying it, though. <laughs> and that's okay. You got any new goods, my guy? What's up, yo-yo? Baseball cap? Oh, we got everything we really need. Uh, maybe. I started college in 2012, so the back half of 2012. Oh, sorry dude, did we hurt your feelings? Dang. He does, I got his Christmas card, it was actually very nice. <laughs> we'll call mom, see if she's got anything cool to say. Dance aerobics? Perfect. Go ahead and just preemptively save real quick. Now, now that I think about it... Yeah, we'll just go ahead. Wait. Why did I do that? One moment. Oh, 
Whoops. Oops. So that's one thing. If you accidentally hit, if you accidentally hit end, it doesn't like the game freezes. You can't. You cannot continue it. It's it's insane. But here, I'm turning it back on. As soon as the controller decides to work. Here we go. Should be working now. You guys were at high school in 2013, so you would have... Would you have been two years behind me then? Yeah, that must have, so you would have had to have been two years behind. Because you were started in late 2013. No, 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 you would only be a year behind. Yeah, that was, that's what it must have been. There we go, perfect. Also, Chimney, here's what I'm thinking for YouTube. Let's do a cut between beating Frankie and everything that happens after that. So split into two videos. I think that's going to be the move. We got the key. Okay, use. Perfect. This is really a roundabout way of doing that. Not gonna complain though. All right. Cave time. Cave time. That's one thing. All the caves in this game look exactly the same. It's hilarious. I did community college my first year. So I was a super senior when I graduated college 2018. Gotcha. So I was a super senior when I graduated. Did he get two crits in a row? What the heck, dude? That's insane. So you would have started... So you did a year of community college. Okay, so you would have come to school... My second year. Yeah, okay, gotcha. Let's beat the slugs. We'll take all the experience we can get. Truly, we will. Dude. But you didn't get the extra insane amount of <laughs> debt that, <laughs> that we got from being super seniors. And now you're making bank editing on Netflix shows and stuff, dude? Come on, you're killing it. What have I done? I've worked in theater professionally. Got a few state premieres. And now I sell tech to the federal government. <laughs> oh, man. What a time. Why do you have so little money? I guess you are in LA, right? Is LA as expensive as I thought it is? I think it is. Is it really? I live in the middle of nowhere in Virginia, dude. And it's, it's still not very cheap in Virginia, especially growing up in Loudoun County. Whatever LA is, it's nothing compared to Loudoun County, man. My buddy and I were literally renting an apartment in Northern Virginia. Uh, we had cockroaches. We had mice. They didn't believe us that we had mice, even though we had videos and pictures of it. And mice poop everywhere. And it was like $2,500 a month or something like that. It's crazy. Yo, that... That Antoid is... tough. A statistician and killing it, mind you. You're doing great. It is, and this summer was pretty expensive for me traveling, medical stuff, etc. Ah, oh, yeah, you did a lot of traveling. But you know what you need to do for traveling uh, this year? You should come by for four, uh, for. Mm, I don't know what's in that box. We're gonna find out. 
come up for New Year's Eve again. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It is, but it's difficult to get approved. Depending on how much money you make, man. Like... It is difficult. <laughs> I have had... Getting this house was not... Not the easiest thing. Ah, yeah, it does depend on what show you're working on. That's very fair. Well, we'll play it by a year. For now, I'll just assume you're coming, so... <laughs> Or whatever. <laughs> and dude, what is in the box? I've never seen, or not, I've never seen that movie. Courtney's never seen that movie. And I want her to see it. I think she'd love it. Take down the mouse. Ah, oh, see, these mice, they just crit, dude. Or smash, I guess is what it's called. On their All Might type stuff, dude. How many is this? Six. It's okay. It's basically one hit kills for them, and they don't do too much damage, so we'll just just get them down real quick. See, once this was enough for you. I've watched it a long time, a long time. I can't remember if it was too much for me. Sometimes those things can be a lot. Jeez, man. They don't hit hard, but they there's sometimes there's just so many of them, but they just it packs on, you know what I mean? I'm gonna now eat, like, every cookie we have, because we need it. Oh, I think we got another spell. Sick. Hold on. Yeah, I'm just gonna eat these cookies to get my health back. It's not a lot of health. Ooh, it almost got me. It almost got me at the back. I remember it being pretty graphic. We're taking out the black antoid first. Oh, that's right. Oh. Whatever you say your favorite thing is at the beginning of the game, that's what it names your your big your big first spell that you get instead of being like fire or something. Oh, so our first spell is Foster. We named it after my kid. Magic Butterfly. It's like the fairies in Legend of Zelda. So, good to have. Eek and Kevin Spacey. Eek. Big eek. Let's try it. I'm curious. To all enemies. Tried. I don't know why I would do that. I'm gonna remember that. We got... Yes! Love a good hamburger, dude. 10 out of 10. I think we're getting close to the big, big boss. I'm just gonna... Maybe not. That's a lot of... Psychic power to use. We'll just... Oh, okay, so that level up made it so we can one-hit these. Perfect. Or, if you're lucky, one-hit them. Save our magic for whatever fight we're about to have. Whatever big boss we're gonna go against. I think so. I think I saw it on DoorDash. 
There's a waste of hamburger. Yes, I did. That's fine. Um, I can't remember what it is, but it looks like all their burgers are on Texas toast. It looks super interesting. Okay, yeah, here we go. First, big boss. So remember, the plot is there are eight places that we have to find across the world. This first one is called Giant Step. So this is our first one. Sanctuary, our first sanctuary. Talk to. You finally got here. This is the first your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Titanic Ant? Hold on. I think we're just gonna do this to try and uh, get rid of all these uh, other ants. That's garbage. I'm really glad we just did that. Because they were just going to keep healing him. There's two of them that were going to keep healing him. He should keep defense down in these. You can just try and freaking hit me. I will save once I can. I can only save at telephones in this game. He just hit us for so much. Should I try hypnosis? No, I can't. Oh no. We gotta take him dead. Oh. Magnet. Oh, he drained. I'm thinking we should just preemptively throw back uh, a quick burger. Yeah, glad we decided to do that. Holy crap, this is tense. He hits hard. I got another shield. We're going another hamburger. She's dropping our defense. Can't get any more magic from me. Guys, our first big boss in one go! No, there is no health bar, you just gotta wing it. I think that you can get spells to find their health, but for right now you just have to hope you do it. I just got so much experience from that. Level 10? We go more? Just getting two levels from that. That's insane. Let's freaking go, dude. And giant step. Our first, not point of grace. This is an Elden Ring. Our first sanctuary. We save that sound in our flute thing. Beans caught a glimpse of a small cute puppy. Bean's soundstone recorded the melody of the giant step. That's what I'm talking about, dude. That's what I'm talking about. Bigfoot indeed. Oh, see, so this is what I was talking about, where when you get to a certain level, everything runs away from you. So now they're running away from me. And I think that means if you run into them, you win. Most of the time, sometimes. Or just makes it easier to get crits on them, I guess. You know, not that we need this. I don't think we get much experience from it. Perfect. Yeah, we'll just blow through this place to get, to get to the next spot. So good. What a banging soundtrack, dude. What a banging soundtrack. Here we go. I think we go down... Yeah, right over here. Perfect. This is a good place to train for future reference, I guess. Just be like a nice place to 
Oh, hey you, the board says do not enter. Couldn't you read it? Yes. I should still read the sign. I can get your butt to the one at police station later. Okay, cool. So now we have to fight all the police officers to be able to go to the next town, Tucson. Dude, it could be any cave, too. Every cave looks exactly the same. Exactly the same. It's crazy. Sometimes it makes it hard, like, once you're trying to remember caves, like, you'll get them all confused in your head and be like, wait, which way do I have to go? It's, it is difficult. But the police fight does take a little while. So here's what we're gonna do. One sec. Record, all done, your job does something about hitting the hay for the night. Here's what we're gonna do. We'll call it there. We're getting close to time anyway, so we will continue this. No, we're like 10 minutes away. We'll continue this next time. We'll do the police station in the first part, if not all of Tucson. So it'll be a good time, but let me uh let me get over here real quick. So guys. Uh, sorry, I pressed my hair down. Um, guys, I'm so excited to be doing this game with you now. This is awesome. So, I am stoked that we're going through this game. I'm excited to see where this goes, but it's going to be freaking awesome. So, we will continue this on Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Our next installment. But, thanks for stopping by, guys. And like I said, if anyone here is new, um... Please drop a follow here on Twitch or on YouTube for any updates or anything you may have missed. Uh, we love hanging out with people, meeting new people. Uh, it is a blast. So, guys, we will continue with part two of Earthbound, taking down the police station, and then moving on to Tucson next time on Tuesday when we stream again. So, I will see you guys then. As always, my dudes. Keep looking for the bright side of life, guys. And I'm going to see you guys on our next adventure.